You know, I come from Macomb County, Michigan. That is known as, known as the home of the Reagan Democrats. And uh, I think it could be argued that uh, my region uh, is as hard hit economically as any place else in our great nation. And I will tell you, unlike some of my colleagues that were a hard yes on this vote or a hard right on this vote, this was not an easy vote for me. I had to dig down deep. In fact, yesterday in the Detroit Free Press, the editorial said, what member of Congress from Michigan can vote against this economic stimulus? And so I'll tell you, I was very disappointed that I could not vote for the original House bill because I wanted to get there. When the president, uh, President Obama, first started talking about this economic stimulus, he said it was principally going to be focused on two things, two things, tax cuts and massive infrastructure investment. But the bill that we just voted on in the House today is unrecognizable from what his stated goal was. And I was disappointed that it was not fixed in the Senate. And I was very disappointed that the conference did not fix this thing to help Michigan, to help Michigan and to help my region. And I'll just give you one example of what really got me going here this morning when I couldn't read through that conference report because I can't read that fast being from Michigan. But let me just say, you know, my state is a state of 10 million people, 10 million hardworking men and women. And this bill, I think, will give us approximately $7 billion. And yet, the Senate Majority Leader, as one of the conferees, put in $8 billion for a high-speed rail from Las Vegas to L.A. And some have said, no, that's not an earmark, that it was discretionary. Well, there's only one shovel-ready project in the entire country that that fits the bill, and that's that project. And there was an amendment that was in the Senate version made by Senator Mikulski, which we were all very enthusiastic about in Michigan, with the auto industry being on its knees, which would have allowed for sales tax and interest deduction for anyone who would buy a new automobile. And what was the cost of that? About $11 billion. And they, in the conference, they got it in the Senate, in the conference it went from $11 billion down to $2 billion. I offered a motion to recommit today that essentially would have been the cost of the high-speed rail to help the auto industry. And they said no. And I'll tell you what, they might be riding a high rail out in Las Vegas, but in Michigan, we are getting railroaded. And that is why I voted no.